Okay, so I want to talk about movies that are not going to get made anymore um, because I think it's increasingly the case that certain kinds of movies and certain budgets just don't get made for reasons I don't fully understand because I'm not an economist. I'm just a fan of movies. Um, I'm talking about sort of late 90s, early 2000s. We'll say 99 to 01. I want to call this the Kirsten Dunst universe or the Kirsten Dunst universe or the Kirsten verse. Uh, Kirsten Dunst. Um, you know, she's been making movies since years before and, and, and is still getting crazy, crazy movies and TV shows now. But from 1999 to 2001, IMDb says she made 12 feature films, which is like a feature film every four months. And so it's my experience that IMDb doesn't register everything. So she probably made more, um, plus TV, plus she was in music videos. She was just, she was hustling. Um, I want to talk about four movies that I just don't think would get made anymore that she, she, she starred in number one, uh, Dick, uh, 1999. It's basically clueless meets this American president, uh, airhead girls played by Kirsten Dunst and Michelle Williams end up getting hired by Richard Nixon during the Watergate scandal to just be there for unclear reasons. I haven't seen it. Uh, it's on prime video. I might pony up the rental fee just to see what it is. It just looks like a broad teen comedy. None of these are, you know, R-rated, you know, comedy. These are these are sort of a sweeter version of the teen comedy of the 2000s. They're very of the time. This is that, um, you know, Dick. Uh, number two, Drop Dead Gorgeous, 1999, same year, a beauty pageant mockumentary satire. And as I say that out loud, that still sounds like a brilliant idea. Um, Kirsten Dunst is in it. As, as all of them, uh, a bunch of people are in it. I'll go ahead and list everybody that's in it now because it's, it's absolutely ridiculous who's in this movie. Haven't seen it, can't find how to watch it. If you have a way to watch it, let me know, please, because I'm desperate to see this movie. $15 million budget. Uh, moving on. Uh, number number three, if we're, how we're counting. Get over it. Uh, this is kind of the point of, of why I wanted to make this video. Everybody that I've talked to that's not a family member has nobody has seen this movie, and it blows my mind. It's Kirsten Dunst, uh, Ben Foster, Mila Kunis, Cisco is in it, and it was that era where like Will Smith was doing music videos for his movies, and so Cisco has a music video at the end of this. Um, this movie made me like musicals. This movie made me give Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist like a chance. It's a wacky high school like musical comedy drama. Um, it's got sort of a little bit of influence from 10 things I hate about you because they do a, a take on Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, but also I, it's, it's ridiculous. It's got like NSYNC music in it or, or Backstreet Boys, whatever it is. It's, if you haven't seen it, I recommend if you have seen it, uh, like, am I even close to explaining this correctly? Anyway, that's, that's, yeah. Number one. Number one is obviously what you think it is if you say Kirsten Dunst, and I'm not talking about Spider-Man because I'm not speaking to, you know, comic book boys for a second. Bring it on. The Ultimate Cheerleader movie. Um, it, it is what it is. It's an $11 million movie that made $90 million at the box office and made Kirsten Dunst, Kirsten Dunst, in the, you know, she's been in, every, I feel like every two years she makes an incredible movie that redefines her career, but... Bring It On is me and all of the girls I grew up with childhood, honestly. It's our uh, Clueless. It's our Clueless. Um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just, it is what it is. It, it had a spiritual successor a few years later called Stick It. It had sequels, but, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's wild. Again, a movie that would not get made today because it's as best I can figure. It's not an intellectual property. It's not a based on a book. It's not based on a memoir. It's not already a movie. It's not a sequel to anything. It's just a really well done cheerleader comedy. Yeah. So yeah. Um, cause the, the thing is, you know, like movies now at $11 million, obviously if you account for inflation, it's probably like 20 something, but even a $20 million movie now, it doesn't go to theaters really. It's just, it's, you know, trying to win an Oscar. So every, and everything else is just tent poles and superheroes. So yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I feel like I'm underselling Bring It On, but it, I, it's one of those things. It's like Clueless where even if you haven't seen it, you're aware of the name. It has that level of name recognition. So yeah, so 
Dick, drop dead gorgeous, get over it, bring it on. Uh, Kirsten Dunst, uh, you know, some acknowledge, acknowledgements here. 10 Things I Hate About You, 1999, same, same situation. It was a $30 million movie, so it was a much more expensive movie than what I'm talking about. And then Clueless is the ultimate. Clueless was 1995. Clueless is the ultimate teen satire ever. Every every satire, every high school movie since 1995 owes a debt of gratitude to Clueless. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, fascinating. I wish I wish these kind of movies would get made, and it makes me sad that they don't. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know. See ya.